and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to share today how to do the famous tip ins, tip outs, what is a flip up and a flip down. So these terms, they sound really confusing for a lot of people and they tend to stay away from them because they don't know exactly how to do it. But they are ex extremely easy and don't get twisted up by what these terms are. I mean, if you can just do a tip in, you can do the rest of them. The flip outs and flip ups and all that, I don't know why they name and call them these, but once I share, you'll kind of understand why they are called that. All right, this one right here would be what a flip out is because the item, this little bookmarker is flipping out of the book. So that's what a flip out is. It's still, to me, it's a tip in, a tip and you're just, you're using it as a tip in. So um, if you wanna call them all, this is a flip up because it flips up. <laughs> I mean, you can call them a tip in because it's, it's a tip in. So it's all up to you. There is no really right, no wrong way. Someone just came up with it and some people like it. Some people like using the terms, you know, for what they represent, which it's, to each his own, you know? All right, so I shared the flip up and the flip out. Now the flip or the tip in right here is what's inside of the Bible. So you actually have a tip in inside of the Bible, or you can use this technique inside of um, uh, like a school book. If you're in school, you can use like a tip in to write, you can put like a piece of paper, put your notes on it, and then you still have them on the page that you're studying. That's a tip you can use. So that's what a tip in is. And I, that's my favorite. I love the tip ins. But like right here, if I'm decorating, I use this. This would be called a flip up because <laughs> it's flipping up. And they're super, super easy. There's another flip up. So Okay, let me just jump in and try to, I want to figure out the best way to share what I want to do with you. I don't know if I want to show you inside a Bible or a book. That I don't have. You know what? Let's just go ahead. I shared the different flip up, flip ins and all that good stuff. So now I'll just show, instead of like walking you through how to do them all, I mean, I still could, but we're not going to go there. I'm not going to try to do a 15 minute video. I have my husband here. He's trying to hop on the game. So he's waiting very patiently until I get this video out. All right. So you're going to need the piece of paper, um, whatever you're going to use as your tip in, your tip out, flip up flip down whatever you're going to use the tape is um it's all depends on where you put it at on what you're going to turn this into so let's say that you want to put it as a tip in so you want it to look like like this you want it inside of your bible your book your journal whatever you're using you want an actual tip in you want it inside you can use washi tape. I did use a glue stick, literally just a regular glue stick. I ran it on the edge of this um, little vellum here and then just pressed it on to my Bible. That easy. And then it's, you know, it's in there. So if you want, oops, banged you around there. So if you wanted a tip in, glue or washi tape the inside. So if you're wanting the actual tip in to come out, so where it's out of the book, out of the Bible, journal, whatever you're using, tape half of the washi tape. Highly suggest washi tape. This technique, you can use it with like scotch tape and stuff, but with washi tape, if you make a mistake, like if you put it down and you it didn't line up, you know, perfectly, washi tape, you can always peel it off and then apply it down again. So washi tape will be your best friend when it comes to any kind of project. And they're cute. I mean, you can coordinate the colors, match it up. You can, you know, make just that this part, your tip in, stand out. So highly re recommend using washi tape. 
And excuse my nails, I was not planning to make a video right now. I would have had it done. I've been painting and journaling, so they are definitely chipped. <laughs> All right, so you put half of the washi tape on the actual tip in and on the other half on the book. So this turns it into a tip out. It's coming out of out of your book. To reinforce it, because this is an envelope, I will be sticking, you know, stickers or a note or something inside of it. It will get heavy. So this one little piece of washi tape will not really hold it. I don't feel safe with just using one. So you just cut off another piece and you do your best to align it up. You can see here with the piece you already stuck down, try to make it the same size because if you make it too small, dust and everything will collect on like the um, piece of washi that's, you know, is already showing. So try to align it up the best you can to where it's, you know, it's all covered up and over time, it doesn't get all gross looking under there. And then now it's super reinforced. There's, you know, it's not, it's not going to just fall out when you flip it out. It's not going to just flip, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm glad you do. <laughs> okay, so right there, super easy. That is a tip out. Now for your flips, if you want it to say your um, envelope, whatever you're working with, your piece of paper, you want it to do this nice little flip motion. Same exact technique, you just put it on the bottom, you don't put it on the side. I'm trying to make sure I'm in screen here. Half of the washi on the envelope, the other half on the book. Reinforce it on the back side, half on the envelope, half on the book. And now you got the flip up, or actually the flip down because the paper is coming down. Now when I did share this flip up, if you don't want the washi, okay now it, see how you can see the washi right here? If you do not want the washi to be seen, there is a way to stop that. You see how you just see the actual, your tip in? Fold up the washi in the back of it. I suggest using glue, and especially for something like this because that tag, it, oh, I have everything falling off my desk over here. All right. So glue in it will give it more support. And the only thing you do is just bend your little washi. So literally cut off a piece of washi tape. It's super easy, and this is the way what you do. Now it won't even come off the row. If you want to hide it, if you don't want your washi tape to show, and you can put this on anything. You can use this technique. Only thing you do is fold, fold it in half, and make sure the sticky part is sticking up. So we come right here, and that's what it looks like. So when it opens up, it will flip. So I'm, I'm hoping that makes sense. So your washi tape is hidden, but it's still, it's you know, it's still functional. And the same thing. Now, if you wanted, let's come over here to a blank page. If you're wanting to put a tip out. You can really just call it a tip in. It doesn't really matter. Say if you wanted to put a tip in right here and you wanted it to flip out of your book, the same thing. You can only see it because it's it's um it's the laminated parts right here, but if it was covered up, you won't, you know, you won't be able to see it. And that's how you do it. That's how you hide the washi. It really doesn't look like it because of that laminated part. So let me use this. It was driving me bonkers seeing it. Peel it down. Okay.
and there it is. That's how you hide it. So you have the tip in inside of your Bible, but you can't even tell because you can't even see the washi. All right. Okay, so I'm going to hop off of here now. I hope this was helpful. If you have any more video requests, please leave it down in the comments below, and I will get to it as soon as I can. I will talk to you all later. Bye!